So even the cheapest people on Fiverr are smart enough to know not to do that for free. So check this out, man. Stop sending proposals to potential clients. First of all, I've been sent cash apps for $3,000 just straight out the blue from people that saw my YouTube videos like a SMP. They do the tattoos, you know, the hair tattoos and everything, the PRP treatments and everything like that. He sent freaking $3,000 through Cash App. If a person is interested in really getting your marketing services, they don't need no freaking proposal after you just spent an hour or 30 minutes on a sales call showing them exactly what you're going to do. What more can I say, Jay-Z voice, on a freaking piece of paper that will make you feel secure enough to actually work with me? Guys, if you're new, don't listen to these folks out here with these uh, false agencies trying to get you to spend all your time and resources sending pieces of paper to people that aren't even going to open the email after they talk to you. They're going to blacklist you, block you, act like you never even existed to them. So check this out. If someone wanted something in writing, they should pay for it up front. Hey, is paper cost? And it's time cost to go and create this proposal after I already spoke with you. I took an hour or 30 minutes out to show you exactly the blueprint or how this is going to work for you and your company. You know how much mental energy and how draining that is? You understand what I'm talking about? You didn't pay for that call. Now you want me to go and spend another 30 minutes to an hour writing all of that up for you to just ignore me? Come on, y'all crazy as hell. Don't let these people... These these agency YouTube dudes get you to start getting a DocuSign account and all of this extra stuff to go and send proposals to folks that don't want anything to do with you. Everybody that I've ever worked with either send it through Cash App, PayPal, Stripe or something, and then we'll create some type of agreement form once I'm sure that they're serious and once they're sure that I'm serious. That's how you're supposed to do it, guys. So that's that's what I wanted you guys to know, man. Like, you might be spending the majority of your time that you could have been prospecting or you could have been closing people. It's just like I tell realtors. You're doing the stuff that somebody else should be doing. A realtor is supposed to be closing. All right? Like, dog, you do the showings of the house. And you do the closings at the table. That's what a realtor does. Okay, an agency is supposed to be concerned with getting the fulfillment of the service done. That's pretty much it. Like you're a marketing agency. You're supposed to be marketing. You're not supposed to be like doing paperwork, like some type of clerk or a, a, a office administrator. No offense to them or anything, but that's what they do. You're not a paralegal or or any document type of person. You're not a notary or none of that stuff. Why are you sitting around writing up proposals and all of this extra stuff? I propose that you don't do that no more. Okay, so guys, I just wanted to drop in for a minute and, and say it because I'm seeing a lot of videos and that's what they're telling everybody to do, like send proposals. And this has been around since marketing agencies has been around. Like I've had people, like I, you know, back in the day when I get on a call with someone, don't even get on the call with people no more if they haven't paid you. And that's not a, a pride thing or anything, but you don't get your time back, right? They get to keep their money in their pocket and then they get to ignore you and act like nothing happened. Then you're back to the drawing board trying to get another person on the phone just so they can play you again too, okay? So this is why at the ProfitPositioningAgency.com uh, website on there, we show you how to build your affiliate army. That way it's other people out there doing the prospecting, the marketing, to send people into your funnels and your websites to buy your products and your services, even for your freaking agency, guys. You don't have to do all of that extra stuff. And if you were to do a call, let it be a call with multiple people, group type stuff that people are paying and everything. Like, check this out. Don't do sales meetings. Like, I just... I just did a video about that either the other day or earlier today. I can't remember. I'm doing all of this recording in bulk. But 
like, dog, imagine, like, 30 people want to work with you and they all want you to create proposals. Oh, my head hurts. That doesn't make y'all head hurt? Like, damn, we already did high school. Enough paperwork. You understand? You go to court, it's paperwork. You get sued, it's paperwork. You hear me? Like, dog, like... <laughs> I just talked to you. I told you. This is the blueprint. This is how we're going to run the ads. This is the ad text. This is the ad copy. This is what we're talking about in the video ad. This is all of that. All right. Thank you. That sounds good. Now go and write me a freaking essay. And then maybe I'll send you some money. By the way, can you give me a discount on this too? Come on, y'all. That's what you want your agency life to be like? Don't get caught up with all these flashy, flossy dudes. Most of them sell their agencies. Have you noticed that? Most of them sell their agencies. They get enough clients. They get enough clients just so they can show you this lifestyle. And then they sell this, ag this agency because it's a headache sending proposals every time you want a new freaking client. It's a headache getting on sales meetings and sales calls to try to close a person at a time. Like that's a headache. You sitting here trying to be an AI automation agency when you don't even automate your agency. You supposed to take after what the affiliate, the affiliates are doing. They're smarter than the agency owners. The affiliates, they spend their week prospecting and talk to everybody at one time on Thursday, maybe once in the morning and then once in the evening and sign a boatload of people on or get a boatload of sales. That's how they do $100,000 in a day and all of that while it takes agencies three, four months to do $100,000 because you're getting on uh, one by one sales calls and all of this extra stuff and sending people proposals and waiting a week to follow up to see if they got the proposal and they say, yeah, I got the proposal. I'm waiting for my partner to check it out. And then they, they, you, they forget about you. And then a month later, you follow up again. Did your partner check it out? And then they say, yeah, you know what? We're just not going to go with you guys at this time. <laughs> getting your hopes up and all of that stuff. If somebody sent me a message right now, to, for me to sign on with them for a Millie boy, I am going to tell them to send at least 50K first. I need to know that they're serious. And that's not me trying to be on some big boss status type stuff. I don't believe you. Until some money is in my dang on account, I don't believe you. You can say all you want to say. Oh, man, I watched your video. It was interesting. Oh, I really believe this can help me out. Just send me over some paperwork. Send me some testimonials. Send me this. this, this. All right, fine. Send me over a cash app of 30 bucks and I'll send you a testimonial. Send me over a cash app of 100 bucks and I'll get somebody to type you up a proposal of what we discussed earlier. 100 bucks just to send me a proposal. You know how much time that's... <laughs> you know, I'm, well, why don't you write up the proposal, sir? And then I'll look over it. And if it's what I agree with, then I'll sign it. Exactly. You don't feel like doing that dang on paperwork either. Listen, guys, you didn't leave your nine to five job to become high paid slaves again. Like, it doesn't matter how much somebody pays you if you don't have liberty. You understand what I'm talking about? You're providing a service that's going to give them 10x, 100x, 1,000x freaking returns sometimes. Why are you the one doing the begging? Why are you the one on bended knee? That's just like how men, we've been trained in this society to get down on knee and beg for the woman's hand to marry us. Where did that come from when after they say yes, majority of the benefits and privileges they get. They get laid up, they get taken care of. We go out, we still do all the hunting, the slaving, and all of that extra stuff. We deal with the police if they mad at us. We deal with alimony if they leave us. All of that extra stuff. Why are we getting on bended knee? And it's the same thing, guys. Why are you sending a proposal to people that <clears throat> can stop paying you, that will be begging for discounts, 
that if they don't get a good experience, will try to go and tarnish your name and reputation and all of that. You're the one with all that stuff to lose. You write me a freaking proposal. That's how you should be looking at it. Come on, y'all. Stop writing proposals for potential clients. I didn't say don't put nothing in, in paperwork. The Bible says put things in writing, right? To make it official. That is if they've paid you. Once they send you a deposit, letting you know that they're serious, then, hey, hey, y'all, hey, type this up. Make an agreement. But no time sooner than that. You're wasting time, dog. You know how long it takes to get these people on phone. Y'all know how long it takes, how much prospecting you got to do to get these people to even want to talk to you. And then you stop prospecting. You stop bringing in more leads to go and type up some bull crap. Don't make me mad. okay? so go to Profit Position and Agency. We have a book on there. There is the only versus best. You want to create offers that make you the only one that's ever they've ever encountered with this specific type of offer. You understand what I'm saying? You don't want to be on the shelf. So that book is 197. You can get that book because the uh, the the opposite of that book, the other option of that book is about two hundred thousand dollars. So what is taught in that book, if we were to actually implement it for the uh, the so-called client or partner, it would cost two hundred thousand dollars. So that's how valuable that book is. That's why it's 197. Then we have the uh, affiliate army DIY affiliate army course teaches you how to build an army of affiliates to go out and do the prospecting ads. SEO and sales calls and all of that stuff to send you traffic and sales so that you're not out here doing this all day. That's pure leverage. So you can check that out on the profit position and agency.com website as well. So stop sending potential clients proposals. Love you.